Tim Anderson, um, baseball player for Chicago White Sox, initially compared himself to Jackie Robinson. He is a person of color, as the uh, polite term is, I suppose. Um, and then I think two weeks ago, they were playing the Yankees, and uh, Josh Donaldson, a white guy, uh, cranked a hit, and then as he's running by, he said, way to go, Jackie, or something along those lines. And Tim Anderson took deep, deep offense to this. Here's the quote. And uh, here's, here's, here it is. Tim Anderson said, a few years ago said this. I feel, I kind of feel like today's Jackie Robinson, he says. That's huge to say, but it's cool, man, because he changed the game. And I feel like I'm getting to a point to where I need to change the game. So this is then. So Josh Donaldson was his teammate back then. They were friends. They had joked about it. They, he called Josh Donaldson would regularly call him Jackie all the time because he referred to himself being Jackie. He wants to change the game. Um, the quote even goes on further. To be honest, it, uh, I know I, I read the whole. It's quite a. It's a whole blog post really. And Tim Anderson also talks about how Jackie Robinson added fun to the game, um, which is totally missing the point of who Jackie Robinson is. And um, I'll just pause there. I'll let you continue. So for those of you who don't know, Jackie Robinson was the first black player to play in the MLB. He crossed the color line, uh, broke barriers, endured a lot of racism. Uh, there's a movie number, I think it's called 42, with uh, Chad, I think it's Chadwick Boseman, right? Yeah. Black Panther guy? Yeah. He does an excellent portrayal of Jackie Robinson, and, and those, it's a very well-written movie. And uh, it shows the hardships that Jackie Robinson had to go through mm -hmm. to, to play in the MLB. And not only play, but he's one of the best players ever. Ever. So, when you're comparing yourself to Jackie Robinson... That's like me trying to say, hey, I, you know, my jump shot is so wet, I'm just like Michael Jordan. <laughs> it's dumb. It's dumb, it's arrogant, and it sets you up for a lot of pain down the line, especially if you can't back it up. And to be honest, I hadn't heard of Tim Anderson before this whole controversy came out. I don't, I, you know. Tim Anderson is a very good player. He's very, he's going to be an all-star. He's got an impressive at-bat. Is he a, is he a, no Mike Trout. Uh huh. Exactly. He's no legendary. He's a, so, yeah. So what I'm saying is he's not, like a, he's not a name that maybe the average household person would know. Mike Trout, mo many people know who that is, right? If you watch any, if you just, you know, flicking through the TV, you'll hear something about Mike Trout being one of the best players ever or something like that. Right. Or, you know, Kevin Durant, LeBron, like, you know, those kind of names, household names, Tim Anderson is not quite in that category yet. He may get there, but as of right now, he's not. So when you say you're the next Jackie, or I feel like I'm Jackie Robinson or whatever, and I want to bring fun to the game, you're talking out of your other lower hole because that ain't right. To list the things that don't even highlight Jackie Robinson in that whole uh, post that he said, is like he's totally missing the point and then for then for him to basically cry wolf it's basically trying to build his brand and have his manager tony la Russa, the 77 year old caucasian white male who's definitely jumping on board of of riding the the woke train and being the leader in 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 systemic uh the stop of systemic racism um it's just all smoke and mirrors to me. Like, like this is absolutely ridiculous. We need to not be okay with this. And even I feel bad for Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson, he 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 came out and said even he's up. To, he's disappointed that his teammates didn't even step up, and and even former teammates didn't step up and say anything in his defense. And you can tell they're all just afraid about hurting their brand and their bottom dollar. And the cancel culture in cancel culture absolutely so the biggest issue i have here is what in in what way is me calling drew the white sports revs or or drew calling me the brown sports rev is that innately racist and i i would say 
to the end of the day. Absolutely, it's not racist. Racist is about hate and 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 disgust of someone's skin color compared to your own. And to say Josh Donaldson is a racist that he's uh, hate that he has hatred to African American people, to black people, to non-white people is absolutely disgusting to me because what John, Josh Donaldson has done through his whole life and his career and, and his givings and all this stuff that he does has been so good for the communities that he's in, so good for when, in Toronto uh, when he was here. And it's just a, it's a shame to me. And I feel bad about him. I feel bad for him. Yeah, I mean, at the game yesterday, I think Pollock heard worse things <laughs> shouted his way than Tim Anderson did. <laughs> Not even, uh, but you know what I mean. Like it, it, that was more hatred than what Donaldson said to to Anderson. For those of you who don't know, we, we sat in that in the in the uh, outfield there area, and he poor guy was just getting ragged on. I don't know I don't know what he did, but he was just we just everybody everybody in that section was just picking on him. Um, he had a couple he, of mistakes too, which added to it, which was great, mistakes, which was also funny and kind of led into it, but. When you're talking about racism, and I think you nailed it, it's about hate. It's about being racist means picking somebody who's of a different skin color and thinking they're a lesser being. Not not even a lesser human being, a lesser being, right? When the slave ships traded Africans from into the United States and into Europe and into, and into England, black people were thought to be monkeys, not people. They thought they were closer related to monkeys. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about hating somebody for their color of their skin. Not, hey, I'm going to poke fun at my teammate who's being a dum-dum who was okay with it six months ago, but all of a sudden now isn't okay with it because we aren't teammates anymore. When we've, and we've gotten to this point where we're so sensitive to making somebody feel bad. Right? Is it If I'm speaking the truth, and Drew is the white guy on this podcast. We can't call anything else. He's a white guy. That's fine. I don't care. Down doesn't care. That's the truth. He's just a white guy. But if he's going to get all bent out of shape about it, whose problem is that? It's Drew's. Because we're speaking truth. Now, if I'm saying that because he's white, he doesn't have a, a, a same uh, level of authority on this podcast or his opinions don't matter, that's a different story. Then we're being racist. But we're, we've come to this point in society where we're talking about pronouns, we're talking about, you know, how I feel, and we're talking about somebody telling me how I can and cannot think, or what is right and wrong. Just because you are inconvenienced by my beliefs, just because you feel like, um, I'm not being as open as you like me to be. That's that's I'm allowed to feel that way. I'm allowed to believe something different than you. As long as I am not perpetrating hate, as long as I'm not um, putting anybody down, my beliefs are my beliefs. Christians all over the world get persecuted. But you say something wrong about Allah or something wrong about a Hindu God, all of a sudden you're the worst person in the entire world. You say that, you know, Jesus Christ is my king, oh, you're you're intolerant. There's a double standard here. And it, it's it seems to it's I feel it's arrogant to think that one way of thinking is the only way of thinking. Right? One way of thinking of like this my way is the right way. I can't look at anybody else's opinions. I can't accept that somebody else might be different than me is quite arrogant. You go to other cultures around the world, there's different thing, ways people think. In India, there's the caste system. Do we, do we say all of India is stupid because they have a caste system that goes back thousands of years? No. It's part of their culture, so that's okay. And the caste system is, is truly racism <laughs> yeah, it's inherent. for people that don't know. And there's different customs all over the world, right? Where you treat your elders with respect in certain ways, or you call them by uh, certain uh, dignified names. That's cultural stuff. 
right? Whereas here, that may not happen. But do we accept those other cultural things? Yeah, of course we do. We say, oh, that's just how they do it over there, sure. But as soon as you say, hey, I'm not, I don't, I'm against my six-year-old kid learning about sex before I'm ready to tell them, oh, well, that's homophobic, that's racist, blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. Where is, where is the line of what's okay and what's not okay? Is it something that's convenient to talk about? Or is it actually hard truths? Right? Because we talk about freedom. We talk about tolerance. But your inability to t- tolerate my beliefs because they're different is a whole other, is a whole other story. Right? And I mean, as a Christian, I have a set beliefs that I that are based in the Bible. But Jesus says to love your neighbor. So I don't care if you disagree with me. That's, you're allowed to disagree with me. That's your business. But I'm still going to love you the same way. I'm still going to treat you with the same level of respect. I may not, you know, I may not go to the strip club with you. But I'm not going to be like, oh, I can't talk to this person. Right? That's not how it is. But on the left side of things, it's either you include everything, you just do what we say, or your racist, homophobic, whatever, whatever, whatever ism you want to put in there, you are it. It's funny how the people who claim to be tolerant are the most intolerant.